Now I'm going to show you how I navigate around by using shortcuts. As you see, I really don't have any controls up here, and I'm going to use my keyboard and my mouse. I see it quite painful when I see people use a touchpad on their laptop, and it's just very painful watching them. You have a mouse with a scroll, and use your keyboard, and you'll be very fast and efficient. So the very first one is kind of obvious. It's going to be with the mouse, and you click, and you will select a spot. If you want to select a section, you click, you hold the left button, and you drag, and you let go. Now, if I want to zoom in or zoom out, I hold the control button. Now, when I scroll with the mouse, I will zoom in closer. When I scroll back the other direction, I'll zoom back out. If I hold the shift button, now when I scroll, if you watch these numbers up here, I move to the right and move to the left. Now, let's say I have multiple tracks. I'm going to go Control-D to duplicate the track. And I'm going to duplicate the track again. So now, if I want to move up and down, instead of grabbing this bar on the side here, I can take it, and I can just use the wheel on my mouse, and I can scroll up and down. Now I'm going to get rid of these tracks here. Now I'm going to go to the toolbar tools. If I go to F1, it'll give me this selection. It looks like a, a I. And if I go to F5, it will give me the tool to be able to time change. So F1 goes back to the select tool. F5 goes back to the time shift tool. Now the next one, I want to do an effect. Say I want to do an effects on this section right here. I go Effects, and I say Normalize. OK. And so it normalize, change that. Now if I want to repeat that again, I highlight the section I want, and I go Control-R, and it repeats the same effect. Control-R repeats the effect. Now if I want to add labels, all I do is Control B, and I'll add a label track. So I continue to add other ones. Control B. You cannot add labels while you're playing or while you're recording. A little disappointing with that, but that's how it is. Now on the transport, if I click here and I hit the home button, it will take me to the very beginning of the track here. If I hit the end key, it'll take me to the end of the very longest track. Now I'm going to go back to my home, and I'm going to want to record. If I hit record, it will append it to the end because I changed that. If you did not have the append, it will start recording at this location. But because I changed it to append, when I hit the R, it starts recording at the end of the track. I hit the space bar, it stops. So space bar will start playing and spacebar will stop playing and it will stay right at the location because I made that adjustment there. Now I have this thing really big and I want to see it so I can say control F and it will fit the whole file to the window. So if I zoom back out, hold the control, scroll out and I go control F, it will fit. Now if I want to zoom into a selection, say I want to do this section right here, I do Control E and I'll zoom in to the selection that I have. That's kind of nice when you want to really look at something close. Control E and now I'm going to hold the Control button and I'm going to zoom back out or I'm going to hit Control F and zoom all the way out. Now I'm going to zoom in onto a selection right here. So Control E and I want to delete something. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to click, left click, drag, let go. And now when I hit the delete key, it deletes that section. If I do that again, I select something, I hit the delete key, and it deletes it. If I want to select it all, let me go back to control F, I can do it several ways. I can double click on it, or I can hit control A, and it selects all, including the tracks down below. So double clicking only does the track, but control A selects everything. So if I had multiple tracks, it would select them all. 
if I want to here and I split it, control I, you might not be able to see it very well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to go control I. You can put these splits together several ways. You can double click on them and they disappear. Or I'm going to go control I again and you can highlight them. And if you hit control J, it will join everything together. So if you have multiple split things you want to join together, it is control J. If you want to copy something, you go ahead and you select it. You hit control C. You don't see anything, but it's copied into the memory. I go somewhere. Let's go here so you'll be able to see a little better. If I go control V, paste, it will paste that down in the section. Now I want to cut something. So I'm going to highlight it. Control X will remove this, but stick it into the memory. Control X. And now I'm going to go to this location and I'm going to go control V and I'm going to paste it. If I want to paste it into an area, maybe a little bit smaller area, I highlight this section I want to paste it in and hit control V and it'll actually expand and fit into that one area right there. If I want to make this quiet for some reason, silence it, I highlight it, control L will silence it. It doesn't remove it. It just silence it and it doesn't change any time. So highlight, control L, and it's silenced. To undo something, you make a mistake, you hit control Z. It will undo it. I'm going to do control Z again, and it will go back to the last time you saved it. Speaking of save, you want to save quite often. So control S and you will ask you, do you want to save it as an AUP? You can tick this box, but I'll keep it on for my lessons here. And you want to save it somewhere. And I save it on the spot. And it'll take some time here to save. And I'm going to hit cancel just for time's sake. Okay, now that I have it all done and I want to apply my effects chain. So I can go under here and file and go down to apply chain or I can do control shift Q and I can choose what effects change that I want. So that is control shift Q and this will pop up here. Hit cancel here. If I want to export this, I want to export it. So I hit control shift. I'm hit, holding the control and shift and then I hit the E and then the export and I can choose how I want to export this file. If I want to multiple export. In other words, it will chop it up into my sections using my labels. That is control shift L. Control shift L will bring up this and you can export it accordingly. The last thing is we're going to import something. If you want to import it, you do hold the control shift and then you press the I and then you can import your file. Click on your file that you want to import. But remember, always Control S to save. You don't see anything really happening, but it's doing a lot and you want to make sure that you're always keeping um, it saved so you don't lose it.